to Fishing with Fever. Today I'm going to do a quick catch and cook with a walleye I caught. I'm going to make it the way I like the most, next to bacon wrap walleye, which I'll show in another video. This is a uh, walleye in hot sauce. So uh, stay tuned and I'll show you everything that happens. Okay, so this is a fish I caught just the other day. Nice little walleye. I just uh, rinsed it in some water. Um, just because I cleaned it with lake water originally because I was out in the lake. Um, I'm patting it dry just so that it can take more of the hot sauce in. Um, you don't really need to do it if you don't want it that hot, but uh, I for one uh, enjoy it. For this one, I'm going to make uh, some nuggets and stuff. Uh, nothing fancy, just the way I want it this time. Uh, I got a little 15 month old son who's going to be eating some of this too and uh, the hot sauce isn't really that hot you don't get the heat from uh from doing it this way you just get the the nice cayenne flavor um so what i'm doing now is just cutting it up into some small chunks throwing it in a bowl same with this guy you don't have to as i said Okay, so now that it's in a bowl, what I like to do is uh, grab some uh, Frank's Red Hot or any type of hot sauce and I just like to lather it in it. As you can see, I'm, you know, not being shy. <laughs> and then you'll want to uh, mix it around a bit. Um, as I said, by patting it dry, uh, the fish is just going to absorb more of the hot sauce. So I like to let it sit for at least like 10 minutes and then I'll, I'll start making it up. So for this one I'm using a clubhouse fish fry. You can use any uh, fish batter or even just your own flour and your own spices. I do that occasionally too. You don't need too much because we're just doing one little fish here. But mix it in the bowl. Okay, we're back. I'm just gonna do a quick little test again, see if it's ready. And I would say it's all, it's pretty much there. So we're gonna start. So what I like to do is, you know, it's been soaking for 20 minutes. Grab a piece, stick it in the batter, get it nice and good as you can see. Okay, then I like to dip it right back in to the hot sauce. You can have a separate hot sauce pail if you want. I don't really care because it's all getting fried. And then I double batter it. And what this does, I find, is it keeps a little bit of the heat and you get just this nice golden red uh, fish. So, real simple. Dip it in. You can stick it in a bag if you like. I just doing this quick. It's just one little fish. Don't feel like wasting too much. And again, I stick it right back in the hot sauce. And then back in. You can see the nice redness of them. So there you have it. Uh, one fish fried up. I'm not sure you can see that, but that nice, beautiful redness from the hot sauce is in there. Yeah, as you can see. She's super fresh, super crunchy, nice color. So good to eat. You can make fish tacos like this or just have it as a side. Honestly, this is like chicken wings to me, so I'm gonna dig in right away. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe.